It's a heartbreaking loss gripping the UC Davis community today. Medical student and veteran Joshua Crane died Saturday after jumping into the American River to save two people struggling to stay afloat in the rapids. And now those who knew him say that he had a big caring heart and he just wanted to help others. KCRA 3's Brittany Hope joins us live from the UC Davis School of Medicine campus. What a huge loss for this community. Brittany, what, what's happening there right now? So medical students have been meeting here all day today and tonight in town halls just trying to process this together. It is so clear how big of an impact he had on this community. He was in his fourth year of medical school and the associate dean of students tells us he even dreamed of doing his internal medicine residency right here at UC Davis. Every sense of the word, he was a hero. He was a hero to a lot of people and everybody Everybody views him that way, and I'm very thankful, and he's my biggest hero. Joshua Brandon Crane, a fourth-year UC Davis medical student, five-year Navy veteran, uncle to two nephews, and bodybuilding enthusiast being remembered tonight. He uh, saw some, some women that were in distress in the San Juan Rapids, and no hesitation, he jumped off his board, and he got in the water, and just got him out. There's no second thought about it for him. It's what he was meant to do and he did it. His sister says he organized the tubing day for his fellow med school colleagues on Friday. After giving his life to save others, his body was recovered from the American River on Saturday. His death now rippling through the UC Davis community. We talked about his, his hopes, his dreams, his ideas for a career ahead. Um, and. I felt like he was in a really good place at that time, so I think that made this loss extra tragic for us. Dr. Sherrod Jane, the associate dean at the medical school, just met with him last Thursday. The two had a special bond. I think it's true, even in, even in his passing, he lived the life he wanted to live. He was one who was generous and was always willing to help anyone he could. And I think it's sort of unfortunate that this was the outcome, but it certainly is fitting for him to be doing that. Perhaps Joshua said it best himself. Ian said, my name is Joshua Crane. Two years ago, he spoke at a memorial service ceremony honoring the families whose loved ones donated their bodies for use in the medical school's anatomy lab. A significant portion of the donors served in the military, just like Joshua. When the opportunity to help a neighbor arises, these are the individuals that do not hesitate to stand up. They do not hesitate to do the work that will bring a better life for the ones they love and to support what they believe in. And seeing that video today just gives you chills. Right now, the UC Davis Medical School is working with Joshua's little sister to put together a memorial service. The school says they expect hundreds of people to show up, and his little sister says she's already hearing from people all over the world who served with him who so want to make their way here for that service. So they don't expect it to happen for a few weeks, just as they're trying to get as many people as they can to Sacramento to honor just an incredible life. We're live at UC Davis. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Yeah,